Today, I have the pleasure of speaking with Tom Dreyfus from Appia Energy. How are you today, Tom? Great, Casey. Great. Uh, Tom, you've had a very exciting and successful year with Appia Energy, uh, a very good financing, and it's my understanding that you are completely focused now on drilling. Can you talk to us about that? Casey, um, we're quite excited with Appia. We, we had a very good year. Uh, shareholders are happy, uh, uh, and um, uh, we did raise uh, quite a bit of money, and, and now we have... Uh, the, the biggest program ever uh, in terms of exploration on, on the Yasu Lake. And um, we finished our first pro, uh, uh, round of exploration, which was ground geophysics uh, and uh, mapping and sampling and uh, upgrading our camp to, to get it uh, ready for a, uh, also for a winter, potential winter uh, drilling. And now we, we, uh, we went into the next phase, which is drilling. We, we, we just started a couple of days ago and we're going to, we, 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 we've got one drill on the property. We're bringing another drill in and um, uh, we're, we're, uh, we're all fired up. We've got 16 geologists working out there now and, uh, and we're doing an airborne survey on the entire property. So it's exciting. Well, speaking of exciting, of course, the news about the partnership with Neo Performance and Energy Fuels was all about monocyte. And the first thing that came to mind was, it's my understanding that, you know, Appia Energy is the best monocyte in North America. Now, perhaps I'm overstating the facts here. Can you tell me about your monocyte? Um, Tracy, uh, uh, Osses Lake is all about monocyte. 100% of our, or nearly 100% of our rare earths are contained within one mineral, which is monozyte. And um, uh, it, what makes uh, monozyte special is uh, the fact that uh, monozyte contains uh, about double the, the critical rare earths from other uh, uh, rare earth uh, sources like Boston site. So we, we do have uh, uh, the, the monozyte, which is basically the technology or the extraction technology is known for the last 50 years. People are, are extracting rare earths from, from, mono, from monozyte. We've got double the critical amount of uh, rare earths uh, in monozyte. And, and in addition to that, we have gallium within our monozyte. You know, Tom, so many people will tell me, you know, off the record, off the record, just for, for the record, the people that have raved to me about the monazite over at Appia Energy are actually not from the Appia Energy team. So just moving along here, you've got the funding for your drilling at Alsis Lake. You've got the team in play. When should we anticipate results from these, uh, this drilling venture? As I said, we just started the drilling. We also, before drilling, we picked up a, uh, uh, about 128 samples from different uh, uh, zones. So we're expecting results from that. So I would say in the next few weeks, we should be getting some results back uh, from, from the labs. It's obviously, uh, you know, the, we're also depending on the labs, you know, how fast they're gonna get back to us. But from here to the end of the year, uh, uh, Tracy, we should be getting results. Okay, so we're looking at kind of results, you know, rolling in here throughout the rest of the year. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Well, that's exciting. It is exciting. And I actually had a phone call from Jack Lifton today. Jack was talking to me about uh, uh, Sprott is doing a uranium uh, ETF. And of course, Appia Energy, most people do not realize that Appia Energy has been uranium for many years as well. Would you like to give us an update on the uranium side of Appia? Uh, at Appia, we have three uranium projects uh, in, in, uh, in the Saskatchewan. Uh, and uh, we're going to be doing some work there too. We're, we've scheduled some airborne surveys and some ground work for the, for, for the uh, rest of the year. Uh, besides that, we have a a large uh, uranium and rare earth project in Ontario in the Elliot Lake, where we have a, a about 50, 55 million pounds of uranium in 4301 uh, um, uh, stage. Uh, that's an in, infer and indicator category. And also we got about 187 million pounds of, uh, of uh, rare earths in, in there. So, so Avia is both a, a, a rare earth and, and a, a uranium um, uh, company. Uh, 
So in addition to a very successful capital raise, an aggressive drilling program, having two major critical materials, both uranium and rare earths, is there anything that we're missing here that you would like to touch on? It is a very exciting uh, uh, project, especially the Alsace Lake, uh, uh, Tracy. It's one of the highest uh, great project, uh, rare earth, critical rare earth project in the world. As I mentioned earlier, uh, the rare earth contained in monazite. Uh, besides that, we have gallium. Our, our monazite contains high grade gallium, and gallium is another critical material. Uh, China supplies about 96% uh, of gallium to the world, and gallium is, is used in, in high tech and also military applications. So uh, it's, a, it's a combo of, of three major critical uh, materials like uranium and, and critical rare earths and, and also gallium. Well, as always, Tom, thank you so much for joining us today and giving us an update on Appia Energy. Congratulations on all your ongoing successes. And please, please drop in more often. Thank you, Tom. Thank you, Tracy. Thanks.